This museum is the home of heroes and the repository of over 20,000 artifacts, including 90 pieces of fire apparatus. Each of these amazing artifacts has a tale to be told and a secret to be revealed. Join us as we recount the courage, valor, and dedication of New York's bravest through these incredible objects. Connect with the past as we examine the mysteries at the Fasley Museum of Firefighting. What is the connection between this apparatus, the Newsham engine, and our first U.S. President, George Washington? 1700s New Netherlands, a Dutch colony which included some of New York State, on any given night, a fire could break out. Colonists would respond with leather buckets in hand and would form a bucket brigade. Before the fire was put out, townspeople were exhausted and drenched with water. This was the only method of firefighting known to the colonists, and as you can imagine, it was not very effective. Meanwhile in England, Richard Newsham begins manufacturing a side-stroke gooseneck engine. Newsham engines were the most effective fire engines of their time period. These engines' small and compact size allowed firefighters to bring it into small spaces and rooms of a home, which in turn meant that the engine could get very close to the fire. During this time period, firefighters did not have a dependable hose, so the nozzle was attached directly to the engine. The firefighters would aim the nozzle directly at the fire, and a stream of water would drench the fire. These engines were so effective that they were in service for almost a century. Around 1730, New York's Common Council decided that they would invest in modern firefighting equipment. Thus, they purchased two of the Newsham engines. In late 1731, on the ship Beaver, two Newsham engines arrived from London, England. Each engine was housed in its own shed at the rear of City Hall. The most wealthy and prominent citizens were the members of the new fire companies assigned to these two new engines. This apparatus is one of the two engines that came over that year. This engine is said to be the larger one of the two, the sixth size. Unfortunately, the other engine did not survive to modern times. The Newsham engine had the capacity to hold 170 gallons of water, and the cistern was lined with sheet lead, which meant that the engine was extremely heavy to pull. The engine did not have suction to fill the trough in the back. Instead, firefighters used the bucket brigade method to fill it with water. Firefighters tended to be fatigued when they arrived at a fire due to the fact that this engine did not have a traveler or fifth wheel above the axle. This meant firefighters would have to manually lift and turn the engine around corners using this tongue. It took about four to five firemen to pull the engine efficiently. This engine was initially used by the fire company known as the Hayseeds. However, during the Revolutionary War, George Washington detailed this engine and its company as a home guard. This was considered a great honor. The fire company continued until 1783, when it was reorganized and changed the name to the Hudson Company, which operated until 1865. After the Hudson Company discontinued operations, this engine was stored and used for parading by the Exempt Firemen's Association of the City of New York. Then in 1923, the Exempt Firemen's Association of the City of New York brokered a deal which provided that FASNI would build a museum and they in turn would donate the Newsham engine and three other pieces of apparatus. Thus, the FASNI Museum of Firefighting was born. And so America's first successful fire engine and the United States' first president, George Washington, will forever be historically connected.